Minibuses in Kenya are known for their loud music and colorful slogans. It's been a symbol of Kenya's urban culture. Young people like using this mode of transport. So we took a ride with them as we spoke about the situation in the country. The government should, should consider the overtaxing people, Kenyans I mean, uh, provide jobs for the youth. Yeah, and he, the government should also listen to the youth. Lenny Moja says the protest did not come as a surprise. It's something that has been bubbling for years. Ruto needs to pull up his socks because he promised us the best. He, he told us all the things that we wanted to hear as a country. And us going to the streets to ask him whatever he promised us, I don't see it being a good thing for him. Thousands took to the streets in different parts of the country with banners and smartphones. Police used tear gas, water cannon and live bullets. At least 27 people are said to have been killed by police and some social media influencers are said to have been abducted. This is one of the buildings that was destroyed during the protest. Many young Kenyans say they have lost confidence in their elected leaders. And it was clear from the demonstrations that politicians misread the mood on the ground. The protests were organized by young people who used digital platforms to coordinate and amplify their voices. Protesters, you have specific names. Of Mark Kaigua tracks social media trends. He says millions of people have viewed or contributed to the debate online within the last few days. Online sentiment does not necessarily translate to offline civic action. This right now, with Occupy Parliament, reject finance bill, it's never been closer to see that what happens on a screen on the internet is happening offline and manifesting with real people in real places with a real message. The protest was not just about taxes, but also bad governance. Kenyans posted videos of politicians showing off their wealth at a time when there is an economic crisis. MPs here are among the best paid in the world. Now those who voted for them say it will not be business as usual. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Nairobi. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.